Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be doing some really simple block printing. And I'm going to be showing you how to make these greetings cards with lovely kind of tiling designs on. So this is what you'll need. I've got this kind of pink rubbery stuff. This is called Speedy Carve. And uh, you can get lots of different surfaces for block printing on too. Um, but I, th I haven't used this one before, so I thought I'd try it out for this project. And then you'll need something to cut your, uh, your surface with. And I've got this little set of cutters. Oh, let's see if I can get it out. Um, they're, called, they're from Abig. And they come in a little box like this. And inside there is a handle and some blades. So I really like this because I like the little box that stores everything nicely so you're not going to lose everything and the wooden handle feels nice in your hand and I find that the, um, for a little set like this the blades are quite sharp so, um, so I really like this one. Um, sets will come with kind of different size blades. I'm going to pick a kind of medium size one for this one and then that just slots into the handle. And then this set comes with a little wooden dowel which I think is to help you change the blade. I've also got a, a knife which I'm going to use just to cut my block down to size. Um, I've got a cutting mat just to make that a little bit safer and a ruler. I've also got a pencil and an eraser and um, that's going to help me draw my design. And then here I've just got some like cheap copy of paper. I'm just going to design something on here and I'm going to use this for, for testing out my, uh, my print as well. And then there's lots of different ways you can print. Um, you need some kind of ink. For this I'm just going for a really simple option and I've got these little ink pads. For my final design I want to make some greetings cards like these and I've actually got some like in a pack that are ready kind of cut to size and folded. Well they're scored so they've got a score line down, down the centre and they've got the envelopes the right size as well so I'm going to use a couple of these. So I'm going to start thinking about the design I want to use and I've got these two here which I've already made. So uh, the little block that I'm going to make today is going to be a quarter of my kind of design. So each design kind of looks a bit like a like a square tile, um, maybe like that, but the block is only um, a quarter of it so it would fit nicely like that. And I'm just going to turn it around and repeat it um, and repeat it there to get me this kind of really interesting tiled pattern. So this one is another one that's uh, very similar. So you see you've got this kind of flower pattern in the middle but on my block I've only got like a quarter of it. So again this pattern would be repeated like this. It's really quite fun making these because when you start with your little design you've got your tiny little square and you're not really sure what it's going to look like but then as you start printing it and as you start rotating your block and as you kind of start to see the pattern build up it becomes it becomes quite exciting to see what this little thing that you've designed uh, turn into a kind of a nice interesting repeating pattern. So I'm going to bring my cutting mat in and I'm just going to start by cutting my uh, my little square of um, of speedy carve. So if I make a couple of little marks here at three and three quarters, like this, then I should be able to just join those two marks together and cut myself a nice little square. Now you can make your squares any size you like. I happen to make mine this size because I wanted to fit them onto these cards um, and I wanted them to fit like four across and four down. So I just took the measurements along here and then divided it into four. So I'm just going to use my knife, uh, carefully keeping my fingers out of the way and just carve along the side of the metal ruler there. And I'm not pressing too hard, so I'm going to have to go through a few different times, maybe three or four times. Uh, 
There we go. And now I've cut through the whole thing. Okay, so I've got my little square here, and now I want to design something to go on there. Um, I could design straight onto the little um, square here, but I'm going to I'm going to use some paper first and work out what I want to do. So I've got my piece of uh, just copy paper to do my design on, and I'm just going to start by putting a fold in it. And this fold is going to be my kind of symmetry line. So if you look at these ones that I've made earlier, you can see that diagonally down the centre of each square there's a line of symmetry, so what's on the left is mirrored to what's on the right. Same on this one here. And I'm going to line up my little square along that line and then just draw around it. Like that. Let's draw this line and pen down the centre just so you can see it a little bit better. And then I'm going to do my design and I'm going to design just one half. Um, so I've just got um, my little square and I'm just going to do one half of it and then I'm going to mirror it. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to do my design in pen pencil. And I'm making my lines fairly thick because I want them to transfer nicely. So uh, let's put in that line there. Let's put in a one that's kind of like parallel to it, a bit like below. And then let's put in like two half petal lines here. Like that. So then I want to copy what's on this side onto the other. So if I flip this over, now just rubbing it doesn't really transfer any of the pencil. But if I scribble on the back of this, take my pencil and just scribble all over where I put those lines in. then I should find that they transfer to the other side, just like that. And now I'm going to go over this side just to make that pencil line on that side a little bit stronger. And again, I'm kind of scribbling in because I want the lines to be fairly solid. So now I can take my little uh, square and line that up and press it down. And I found that the pencil transfers from the paper onto this really, really nicely. And you don't have to do very much. All you have to do is press it. And there's my design transferred onto the block. So now it's time to carve, and I'm just going to take my cutter and just follow the pencil lines that I've made. So I want to carve away from myself, um, so if I need to hold the block, I'll hold it behind the cutter, not in front of it. And I'm just going to push along here and carve a line wherever my pencil lines are. So I'm going to turn the block so I can do the other way. I found with this pink stuff that uh, it doesn't carve the edges very well. It kind of they kind of fold out. So what I found is I can kind of go 
up to the edge, but then I kind of need to do a few little extra pushes at the edge just to get the line nice and smooth. So there you can see that line there didn't quite go right to the end. Let's just encourage it a little bit. And again on the other side. Now you can make your design as ambitious as you like, but if you're a beginner, it's best to keep it simple. And then when you figured out what you can do, you can uh, you can make it, you can make things more complicated as you go along. I'm going to put up a worksheet on my website, which has some ideas for designs in that you can use, going from really simple ones like this to slightly more complex ones like these. So now I've cut away all the pencil lines. I've got to decide which bits I want to be solid and which bits I'm going to take away. So I am going to take away this bit here and this bit here, and I'm going to leave this kind of stripe and then this kind of flower shape that's going to be in the center. So to take away areas, you could change to a slightly different blade if you want to, it'll make it a bit quicker. But I'm just going in parallel with the mark that I made before. Oops, ends fallen out. There we go. So I'm just going to work my way through this whole area that I want to get rid of. And just keep pushing that content away. And this bit right on the corner is likely to catch some of the ink from the ink pad, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time just taking that down. Right, so this is this whole bit kind of taken away. And now I can work on the other side. And just clear this area too. Once you finish, just give everything a little brush just to make sure there's none of the little bits stuck in it um, and then uh, you can test your design. So I'm just going to print onto this paper and uh, yeah just see what it looks like. So let's go with this colour, this cyan colour. Um, and I'm just going to tap it all over the raised areas of the design and then print it. There we go. So I can see a couple of things. One is that I've got a little something there. I can just clear that away and that's what caused that. Second is I've got a little tail on uh, this bit here, which is maybe sticking out a little too far. So I can tidy that up. 
I can tidy up any areas where it looks like the ink is hitting the uh, the bit of the uh, the bit of the block that I don't want to print. And then, having tidied all those those things up, we can test it again. Maybe a little bit there. I want to remove. So let's try that again. And I've got this kind of flower shape that I want to be in the centre. Try that again. So I just need to make sure that I keep that bit in the centre when I go to print it. like that. And if I print it a few more times I can see what the repeats start to look like. So again I want this corner here to be right in the centre here. And then another time. There we are. So once I'm quite happy with how this is printing, I can start doing my uh, my greetings card. So let's get a blank one. And I could start in the corner and work my way from there, but actually I want to start in the centre. So I'm just going to very lightly mark the centre of my card. Make a little mark on there. And then just use my eraser to take that down so I can only just see my little mark where the centre is. So it's just a case of loading up the, the block every time with ink. And this first one, uh, as long as I get my little flower right in the centre, and then I'm going to use my eye to kind of work out whether it's straight or not. I could measure it, but I'm just going to go for it. There. First one. Press down all over and let's see what it looks like. It's good. Let's do another one here. And again the centre right in there. Line it up with the one next to it and press it down. Doing these blocks, especially in the blue, I think makes them look like those lovely Portuguese tiles. Um, and very, very suitable for summer. So really nice for a summer birthday or something like that. Also, it'd be really interesting to design some two colour blocks. So two different blocks that you'd print with, the, um, with designs that would work together. So you could have a one that's got like less detail and then one that's got more detail to kind of go designed to go over the top of it. There we go. So that's the center of the um, card filled up. So now I just need to go around and fill it up all of the edges. And then this time I've got um, this kind of open corner that needs to match with this one. Just takes a little bit of thinking about every time you go to put it down just to make sure you've got it the right way around. So this one would go there. Oh, I tell you what, I'm going to put a 
piece of paper. I'm just going to put a piece of scrap paper underneath just to protect my work table. This is the completed greeting card that we made from this little block. Um, I really hope that you enjoy this project and if you give it a go I'd love to see it. Um, I will put the designs for these three different little squares up on my website. So yeah, so if you want to work with any of these then you can use them for inspiration. So if you do do any of these projects I'd love to see your versions of them. You can always post them to Instagram and use my username in the description or in a comment and I'll find it. Um, that's Lou Rachel Davis. You can also use that as a hashtag. There'll be a link to all of the supplies I've used today in the description box down below and further information on my website. So thank you very much for watching. So this video is the final one in my patterns series. I really hope that you've enjoyed this series and I'm looking forward to uh, planning the next one with you. I've got lots of plans coming up. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a wait for a few weeks until my next series uh, and that's going to be based on the coastline, along the shoreline I'm going to call it. So lots of scope for painting sand and shells and beach scenes and if you've got any particular requests I'd love to hear them. So thanks very much for watching today. If you've liked the video then please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more from me then do subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care, bye bye.